for a reason. Right. You know, they're basically the barriers to storm energy. You take those islands away and all of a sudden, the inner part of the coast becomes more vulnerable. Mike Berry walks me out to where the edge of the island used to be, less than 10 years ago. By the end of the century, these islands will be gone. I mean, it looks like a dead zone here. And these circular holes are everywhere. And again, the basic problem is the more open water you have, the less it can protect. Exactly. I'm curious about what are the uh, locals saying? I can tell you, yeah, if you want to know what ask. the locals say, I can tell you what the locals say. My family's been here since the 1870s. In the Everglades, we've made a living in these swamps. Tides are coming up in the streets to where that would only happen during a storm or something would come through and, and happening quite a bit now. They've raised all the streets up in Everglades City and now the water's coming up, you know, on those streets to where they raised it up to where it wouldn't come up on them. So anybody that says that global warming is not true and fit, is not really happening is absolute crazy. I've seen it and, and I mean... So your advice would be to get the skeptics down here? I mean, if they set up in Washington and say it's not happening, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They need to get down here and see it for real. That's the truth. It's happening, period. <laughs>